What's going on guys, d Legend here. Today we have a quick little PSA return. Um, only four cards, but they are all bangers, so stay tuned. Thank you guys for watching this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and leave a like if you enjoyed the content. Um, essentially, this was the um, Value Plus TCG submission um, that I sent off on November, I want to say like the 20th, and then it got to PSA the 22nd. Um, and then from there it got entered into the system on the 28th. So it took about six days to enter it into the system. If it got entered faster, it probably would have been done faster, but I just got these cards back today and today is December 8th. So a total of about 18 days in total. Um, that's like less than 12 business days, I'd say. So pretty good turnaround time overall. Happy with it. Um, let's just take a look at all of these amazing cards. So first and foremost, um, if you guys don't remember what I submitted for this, um, I have two Yu-Gi-Oh cards and two Lorcana cards. So the first one being an Exodia Necros from Dark Crisis First Edition. Well, I can't really cover up this with my hand because it just destroys the, the lighting. But Exodia Necros got a PSA 10. I would be pretty happy with that. Um, I thought that there was a potential that they'd ding it because of the waxing on the back. But that was the literal only thing wrong with the card. And I guess they saw past that and they were happy to give it a PSA 10. Congrats to Obelisk Blue on that beautiful Gem Mint 10 Exodia Necros. I think this is like a $1,200 US dollar card. Maybe a little less at this point in time, maybe about 1000 uh, or 900 But that's still a very beautiful collection piece. So congrats to you on that. Next up we have... An Ancient Gear Golem. So this card is beautiful. Actually, Loki won it for my own collection, so I'm going to talk to my boy Dizov, who is the one grading this card right now. Um, it's not the greatest looking nine because it's off-centered, um, but other than that, it's pretty darn minty, so you can't really ask for much more from a card. Did I say nine already? I did get a PSA nine. Uh, there's barely any ulti snap, and he pulled this himself, so it is pack fresh, but it did get a PSA nine. Um, just off-centered. I think that's the only real issue with the card, to be honest with you. But really nice looking card. Cover card of The Lost Millennium, my favorite set, so beautiful to see. And uh, I am missing this card for my full ultra rare ultimate, like ultra ultimate rare um, collection from TLM. I don't think I'm going to go for all the supers as well because they just don't mean as much to me. Um, but I do have Reshift the Dark Being, Flame Wingman, and Thunder Giant graded as well so yeah beautiful card uh, i don't know the value on this one at this point in time um, i'm pretty darn sure that like basically everything in gx has dropped off other than like tens uh for certain cover cards and certain huge cards like sidra and stuff so um not sure value on this guy right now if i had to guess actually i'm not even gonna guess right now because i really have no clue but at one point i think tens were selling for like 3k maybe something like around there and I think nines were probably around like 1200, so I don't know what this is now. Um, I don't think it's near that at this point, but I'll talk to Dizov and we'll see if we can figure something out. Next up, we have two Lorcana cards. Um, the first being a, oh, I guess the first being a beast. Um, this is not the right order, but that's okay. This is a beast. There's a lot of scratches on the case here, which is quite unfortunate, but they're not on the card. Um, I don't know if I can get those off at some point in time, but we'll see. This is an enchanted card, as you guys probably know if you have any knowledge of Disney or Arcana. They're really hard to pull. Um, Enchanteds in general are about 1 in 96 boxes, or packs, sorry, packs. So that's about 1 per case, um, and there's 12 Enchanteds per set. So there's two sets out right now, 12 Enchanteds each. So basically this would be 12 times 96, and that would be your odds to pull this specific card. It ended up getting a Gem Mint 10. I pulled this myself, so really happy with that. Gotta love to see Gem Mint 10s in any TCG. But uh, this one's for sale, so hit me up if you guys are interested in a beast. Um, yeah, I'm looking to sell it. So it is listed on eBay as of now, and uh, I would definitely take less than a thousand Canadian dollars is what I've listed, what I have it listed for right now, but I probably would take um, a good chunk less than that. So hit me up with offers on that if you are interested. Next up and lastly, we have Elsa, Spirit of Winter, Enchanted, from the first chapter of Lorcana. 
Um, yeah, not much to say about this card. It was really darn clean. There was like a tiny, can't even see it. No, there was nothing actually. That was a different card that I'm thinking of. This card is clean as a whistle and um, got the grade it deserves, which is a PSA 10. So really happy with that. I really like the foiling on these. Um, it's really unique. It's like a, I don't even know how to explain it really, but I love this card. I love Enchanteds and I'm low-key trying to keep, like I, I kind of want to keep it, but I kind of want to just sell it now because I know there's going to be a few other copies on the market at some point in time. Um, this is the most sought after Lorcana card at the moment um, in terms of, well, in terms of pullable cards from regular sets. This is definitely it. Um, other than the, yeah, because there's there's promo cards that aren't that are way more valuable, but this is around a thousand US dollars right now. And last sold yesterday, I think December seventh um, or December sixth, I think was a thousand one hundred and eleven dollars US dollars. So yeah, that's the end of the video, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Overall, very very good submission. Four cards, three of them being gem and tens, and then the one nine. Um, so really happy with that. It did cost us a good chunk of change, not gonna lie, because they didn't have any grading specials at the time of submitting this. I wish we caught their value bulk or their value plus special for $35 a card, but uh, it was not that. It was the regular $40 per card plus shipping cost and everything. Um, and then also we actually got dinged for customs for the very first time in a long time from FedEx. Normally, like we, there's no issues with importing return cards um from your psa collection or from cards that you've graded through psa um to you in canada like there's usually no issues but we got charged i think 21 dollars 36 for this submission which was a pain um so i just had to just split that up between myself as well as the other two submitters for their cards but uh it is what it is guys and uh it doesn't happen often so hopefully it doesn't happen in the future with bulk subs because that would hurt even more because there's so many more cards in bulk subs and they would probably charge a significant chunk more. But uh, yeah, I've never really had to deal with that before. I think maybe once, but I don't really remember. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. Catch you all soon. Peace.